Now, if you want to follow us down to Devil 16, we'll give you a little bit of background of the car and uh, do the same sort of treatment. You gotta slam it. It's not a Lexus. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are. Uh, something totally unique, something totally different. This car has only been, I guess, fired up for the last three nights. I'm here with Larry Lance, the president of the 2009 Canadian International Auto Show, and the gentleman that's responsible for putting this whole event together, Mr. Jason Campbell, the general manager. Jason, uh, you know, there's so much to talk about in Auto Exotica, and uh, we just came through a great display with uh, McLaren Toronto. But this is the one that we really use as our focal point for the promotion of Auto Exotica. I think that speaks to the ultimate in exotic vehicles. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Thanks, Dave. Yes, uh, Devil 16, this is the first time this car has been seen in North America. Very proud to have that uh, first showing. This has obviously been an internet sensation. Uh, Supercar Blondie, for those who follow uh, those blog posts, uh, have seen this car in the past, but uh, up close and personal, it really is uh, pretty impressive. I think when the engine fires, it's uh, going to be quite a, quite a thrill. The car itself is a pre-production model. This will actually go into production later this year. The top spec uh, vehicle will sell for about 2.2 million US. Uh, it has a V16 engine producing over 5,000 horsepower. So it's, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty special. And what Auto Exotic is all about is about dreams. And people here are coming here to see cars that most people can't afford and never will. But uh, but this car being not only a thing of dreams, but also so rare on this side of the ocean is uh, is pretty neat to have it here. We'll look to do more of this. Uh, we've had some really exotic cars over the last couple of years, and uh, this is certainly living up to its billing. Now, is it true? I mean, this car obviously coming in from Dubai, and we've recently learned that Dubai is a hotbed now for the creation of, of uh, hyper vehicles or uh, uh, more than what we would call. Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll just stick with hyper All right, can we, uh, can we expect more in the future? Well, we certainly want to keep this trend up, but certainly one of the things that we think draws a lot of people to the auto show. Uh, when we do our consumer surveys, they say one of the second biggest reason for coming to the show, apart from shopping for new cars, is to see auto exotica. So this, I think, is going to be a bit of a treat. All right, I've got my earplugs. I remember what happened last night. Okay, be ready in there? Yeah, okay, great. Let's get this fired up.